All right, I think, I think that's it. everyone so today I am filming my boyfriend buys my makeup Hamish and I have been meaning to do this video for like months and finally we were in town and we stopped by farmers and purchased a whole lot of makeup basically Hamish shopped for me so I basically just said okay primer go foundation concealer contour and he went for it he just went around and tried to find the most appropriate item sometimes it took him a few seconds to kind of like figure out what he was looking for and sometimes he came across a product that he's like yeah this is good and then he looked at the price and he was like no he really does know how expensive makeup is here in New Zealand and I have to give him credit he knows a lot about makeup he actually works at Exo Beauty which is a makeup company and he like knows what things are we have been dating for over six years as well, so he's not completely stupid. And I feel like he did a pretty good job, but we will soon find out. We spent $278.64 on this full face makeup. For a few of the items, I was like, why don't we go check out the high-end counters and you can pick out like something from a high-end brand. And first of all, he's like, what's that? And then when I told him the prices, he was just like, nope. We're sticking with drugstore today, so that's what you guys are gonna get. I'm gonna insert little clips here and there of Hamish picking out the makeup because I just found it adorable and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. And if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe we can do some more similar videos like this. Also, at the very end, I might put in a little clip of Hamish reacting to, you know, how he thinks I did with the makeup products he picked out for me. <laughs> so we're here at Farmers. How are you going? I'm about to rip this. We're gonna make I look on Shannon, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's go. So first of all, we have primer. I, I'm, I'm like trying to look for a primer and I'm like, um, <laughs> um, is that a cheap one? Or is that an expensive one? How do I tell? It's very <laughs> overwhelming. You come in and I'm like, oh yes, yes. Look, uh, I know it's uh, it's labeled, but if you look at the stand, it's a very like full on with color and words, and I'm just like nothing steps stands out as this is this, this is that. Yeah. Yes, it says it there though. I I'll guess. give you one hint. Yeah. Usually, different products are grouped together, so eyes, lips, face. Okay. So, how do I put it? I took it out of there, and it's like there you go. That's how you do it. Uh, cut. Why is there different ones? There's like a purple one that's a base corrector. Then that's base correct in green, and that's peach. Peach lavender. Is it? A, is it a scent? <laughs> peach scent. Well, it says green. What's the green scent then? Look, green, lavender, and peach. It's got like. Is it like? Why would you want to look purple, right? Hey, much went back and forth throughout brands, and he almost actually chose a friggin' eye primer instead of a face primer. So thank goodness he changed his mind last second. So we have here the Insta CC Primer by Rimmel. And this is in the shade Peach. It doesn't smell like peach, but I did find that adorable. You get 30 mil and this cost $18.50. This is not sponsored by farmers whatsoever. We purchased everything ourselves. Ooh, I actually quite like the feeling of this. It's like a pore filling primer, but it's not super thick and super slippery. Like it still feels quite hydrating. And the color, it's more of like a light pink than a peach. It feels real nice. It's quite thick, but not like, benefit professional thick, just like, I don't know, kind of like the um, Make It Forever one, where it still like soaks in, it doesn't just sit on the surface. By the way, anything that Hamish reached for that was a product I've already tried or already own, I just was like, no, not that one, because <laughs> I wanted to kind of do like full of face first impression of this stuff too. Next up, foundation. <laughs> <laughs> how, do, how do we? Uh, maybe that's a, can I, show me? Am I meant to do it against your face like this, or? But you've put other stuff on top now. <laughs> How do you, so we'll probably go with 102, as light nude, and then she can just bring it up with bronzer or something. I don't, I don't know, that's. <laughs> bring that's, it up with bronzer. Is that, does that work or not? <laughs> yeah. Does. <laughs> there you go, so we're foolproof. He also went with Rimmel. I can't remember trying this product. I don't think I have. This cost 
$22.99, which isn't too bad. Hamish definitely did well at choosing a shade. However, he wasn't looking at the undertone, which no shit, like as if he would know about undertones. He just went for like a color that looked similar to my face. You're like, you saw it in the vlog. And to be honest, today I faked tan, so it's definitely gonna be too light. So we're gonna have to take Hamish's advice and darken it with bronzer, which I can't believe he actually said that. We're using the shade 103 True Ivory. Oh, it's got a pump. I love that, okay. So by the way, this is the Invisible Coverage Visibly Perfected Skin SPF 20, 24 hour moisture. Blah, 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 blah. Poor blurring effect, match perfection. I actually like dig the sound of this cause I was so worried he was gonna pick out a friggin' matte foundation. Like they have a lot of like matte foundations at the drugstore and I was just like, please no. I just really wanted something like I don't know, a little bit more hydrating. That's usually my preference. So, oh, the color's not too bad, actually. He did well considering he managed to actually guess the correct undertone. Like I said, he didn't do that on purpose. Trust me, he had no idea what he was doing. So this coverage is like a medium, I would say. It's not like super opaque, but it's not low. I'm building it up a little bit too. We also, on the same day, picked out some outfits. Well, we, meaning him. Hamish picked out about four outfits, I think, in the end that he wanted to, you know, have me wear. So we're gonna do a video where I try them on and I rate them and he can rate them as well and see how well he did. So that video will be coming up soon if you guys are keen. He actually ended up like buying me one of my favorite pairs of shoes that I've been wanting to buy for myself for a long time but never committed to. He was like, these ones, I was just like, yes. Okay, I think we can make this color work. It feels really nice by the way, it feels very like, light on my skin and quite like cold which i like all right now let's go for the concealer we're in a dilemma i've um i've come across the concealer yeah new problem there's banana and musk <laughs> and i feel like are these scents but then i'm like why would you choose musk it's not a very like musk yeah <laughs> why would you choose it as a scent so it can't be a scent uh, if i read on it maybe uh, there's a picture of a banana which is more descriptive not a uh, bright eyes illuminating under eye concealer banana hmm. i would think that you'd want maybe skin color with uh, like a vanilla or something refreshing <laughs> but no you got banana he was very perplexed over the fact that this is called banana concealer so at least i can show him that you know it's fine. I haven't tried this before. I love Australis as a brand. I haven't used it in a while, but it is one of my like favorite New Zealand available drugstore brands. It's something that I used to purchase a lot back in the day, but haven't really looked at their range lately. I just don't go in stores, so like I just haven't looked at it. This went for $17.50, and it's called the Bright Eyes Illuminating Under Eye Concealer in Banana, and it kind of, oh, here we go, yeah. It's like a YSL kind of product, you know, the Touche Clair. However you say it, I don't know. So it's kind of like a very dark yellow. It's like there, but it's not actually coming out. Here it comes, here it comes. Okay, we're good. I'm not actually going to use the applicator to blend this out because that's just never gonna work out for me. So the product looks very streaky, like straight away with the little brush, but we'll blend it out with the sponge, which is what I would normally do and just see how it looks. Oh, I actually really like this foundation, guys. It's so pretty. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, that's super brightening. It took a little second just to start blending out properly. I was a bit, like, nervous just then, but it's not super high coverage or anything, but it is very brightening and color correcting. Don't mind, I feel like I'd like this paired with a concealer that gave a bit more coverage and just, like, blend them together almost. I do really like the color of it. It's just, like, not quite enough coverage for me personally. If you just have like a really dull under eye area, I think this would be such a good product for that. Oh look, now we have banana powder. <laughs> what? Okay, look down here. Pressed banana powder, loose banana powder. Wow, I mean, what you gonna go with? Come down. You know what we've found down here, look. It's actually not, uh, it's not fruits. So that's a good sign already, I think. As someone who doesn't know anything. Uh, let's go. Natural or medium tint? We, no, I might go with that darkest brown. Here you go. You've got your foundation to match it. Oh yeah, but the, I don't want it to be the same. So they gave me a free gift. I don't know why, but apparently I got a free gift. So it's this banana loose powder. We're gonna try this under our eyes since he didn't really pick me an under eye powder. He did look at this briefly. Didn't end up going with it. He ended up choosing the fresh and flawless face Press powder. Chose me the pressed powder, fresh and flawless, which I should have really said no to this because I've already tried it before, but at the same time I was kind of stoked because this used to be one of my favorite powders ever, so I was like, okay. So let's give this baby a go. 
oh Jesus, so much just came out. This under eye like brightening thing by Australis is already starting to crease so I definitely need to set it quickly. I'm holding my breath, it's very fine which is good but I'm like breathing it in. So I'm not sold on the under eye area because it's obviously a little bit dark. Now let's set the rest of our face with the pressed powder but I think he bought me the wrong shade. He got me a light beige so Let's just see how this goes. This looks so pale. Like, who does he think I am? Even when I was pale before I fake tanned, I don't think I was this pale, but I mean, I'll be able to use this when I'm like extra pale, I guess. But this powder is actually really good. It's a good dupe for like the Studio Fix powder and stuff. So let's move straight along to bronzer, please. What are we looking for? A bronzer. I'm trying to find bronzer. Look down there. It's just like contour palette. What color is that one on the right? Or is it just three and one? I think it's three and one because that way you got you got a bit of bit of good for contour and highlighting. So there you go. All right, so we've got this contour palette and it's by Nude by Nature, which I think it's like a New Zealand or Australian brand or something. Oh no, it's made in the USA. I so thought this was like, yeah, New Zealand or something. <laughs> Apparently not. So straight off the bat, this looks real cute. This cost $44.95. So this is one of the most expensive items that he actually purchased. And it looks like this on the inside. So you have a little yellow powder, a bronzer, and a contour. The contour shade looks so dark and so cool. But let's just give it a go on our actual face. Because, I don't know, it might be nice. Blend it out. It's actually a real buildable powder. It's not as like pigmented as I thought. Why does it look orange on my face? I just like cleaned my brush to see if it was like a different product. It still looks warm on my face. That's so weird. Look, it looks like completely different. Ah, easy to blend though, which is nice. I'm so confused though. And then let's just take a different brush. I'm going to take a medium face brush with the middle shade, the bronzer. It's a little bit warmer. And then just add this to my cheeks, temples, kind of all over because I'm looking very pale and I need to like pull this through. It's quite like, I don't know, like I feel like I'm going back and forth into the powder a whole lot. But it does give a really nice colour when it's on, it's just taking a long time. I do like buildable, but this is like, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm so pale, it's just taking a while to like show up, I don't know. It does look real nice once it's on. I think it's definitely for those of you who love like a natural bronzer. Found this one here. Oh hey, brow kit. Try that. Are you going to check the colour? Should have been the one I just picked up, right? And some brow tint. Get these two, tint my brow. And brow oh, hey brow. Kit. Next up, let's do our eyebrows. So this is the one Hamish chose. It's by Australis and it costs $21.50, which is not too bad. I have no idea what the shade situation is. He just kind of grabbed this one and didn't check what shade it was. So I don't know if it's one shade or if you could buy it in multiple shades. I, I'm just real nervous. I'm going to open this up and it's going to be black. So you get tweezers and a little applicator brush, three shades, and like a gel kind of looking thing. Okay, the colors don't look too bad. They're very cool toned. So I'm gonna use the lightest color mixed with like the gel. Oh wow, the gel is so creamy. It's way creamier than like the Benefit one. So like I dunked my brush in there, it just like melted. So far so good, very pigmented. And I'm actually getting strokes, so it's not just like globbing, which is nice. The gel almost seems to be more cool toned than any of the powders. Um, so I'm just like mixing them together to try and get like a neutral shade. If you enjoy this video, let me know and maybe I can get Hamish to do a high-end version when we go to America. We could go to Sephora or something, he could put me high-end full face of makeup. It's quite interesting because he picks some stuff that I wouldn't naturally like gravitate towards. The eyebrows are definitely a little bit patchy, so I'm just going to go through with my spoolie. I told him he needed a brow mascara as well and he just grabbed this one. So it's just the Australis Tint My Brow in the shade. Doesn't say. I think it's the middle shade. I don't know. $16. The color's really good. I'm glad he didn't go with the lightest one because in my head I was kind of like, oh, I think that might be too dark, but it's actually perfect. <laughs> like, perfect. I reckon it looks very decent. Decent. Eyeshadows. Let's go with chocolate scented. Looks quite cool. Chocolate. Well, these actually look really pretty. Good choice. $24.99. I feel like that's a bit lighter and you're going. There's a glitter. Maybe this one. Peach scented. Let's see what you can do with that. Oh, what's this one? <laughs> so many choices. Maybe this one. 
Okay. So for the purpose of the video, go the eyeshadow palette. I want you to point out which colors I'm going to be is using. It? Yeah. Oh gosh, now you got me shoes. I thought you just chose. Yeah, but I want you to choose which colors I use. Choose like four or five. I don't know. One, two, three, four. So you can blend stuff if you need to. Oh, thank you. Is that going to work? In case it's sort of make it better. Oh, it's good. Good. Yeah. Okay, next up, let's do eye makeup. And I was actually like excited about this. He went to these that were like on a display because they're new or limited edition or something. I can't remember. CoverGirl Chocolate Scented Eyeshadow Palette. I've never seen these. So this one cost $24.99, which is such a good deal, I reckon. He went for the shade Chocoholic. So here's a close up of all of the shades. I. I've really been enjoying CoverGirl eyeshadows lately, so I'm hoping the quality of these is just as good. So I'm pretty sure it's these two, that one, and the dark one. So I'm kind of gutted he didn't choose the transition shade. Thanks, Hamish. I'll clean up still here. I guess I'll take the darkest brown. Got good pigment to it. And they're pretty easy to blend. All I want to do right now is cheat and use the transition shade, but I refuse. You know what? We're going to use the bronze shade. Wait, is that a bronze? I don't even know what that is. It's kind of like a cool tone, taupey color. We're going to take a little bit of that in the crease. Ugh. I mean, it's okay. I'm using like the smallest amount I can muster. I'm just like buffing it as hard as I can into my eyes to try and like get rid of the glitter. Okay, and now I'm going to take the darker, this one whatever and it's basically like a shimmerier kind of dark brown charcoal color and we're gonna put that all over the lid actually i'm just gonna use my finger it's actually matte i thought that was um shimmery it's actually really pretty it's like a warmer brown i should have used that in my crease yeah i actually love this color i'm gonna take the uh shimmery color with my finger and just put some on top I'm just doing something super smoky because that's all I've got to work with here. By the way, it does smell like chocolate. It smells really good. That's smoky as a mofo. Okay, now I'm taking the beige color and we're going to just put this on our brow bone in a corner. This color's really pretty. It's got like a gold reflect. That's so nice. Okay, anyway, I like that. I just don't like the colors Hamish chose, but I made it work, I think. For eyeliner, he likes liquid eyeliner. He chose the Australis. Liquid eyeliner. Eyeliner. Seventeen dollars fifty. He chose a black liner. Thank God. I don't think he checked. And oh, I don't like the look of this. It's like solid. It's not flexible. Let's go. Oh God. It's definitely a little bit streaky and hard to use, but I mean, I feel like I can get there. It's not the um, worst thing I've ever used. It definitely like dries down quite dry. Uh, gray. I was gonna say dry. I don't know why. It's really hard to use for me. It's just too stiff and like streaky and watery and it's kind of stinging like in the outer corner of my eye right now, which is not a good sign. Even with two coats, it's just a little bit too dull for me. So that's a mess. Now for the mascara. Instant dramatic volume. Wow, so these are not cheap. For mascara, let's go with what base, volumized base to find to volume and definition. What colour is it though? It's just black, eh? Uh, you don't really need a waterproof. Well, wow. what I'm doing. Could you go? He chose Max Factor Masterpiece Max High Volume and Definition Mascara in black. And this cost a grand total of $31.99, making it the second most expensive item of this entire video. Now, surely it was a Max Factor mascara that I used to freaking love, and I'm trying to remember which one it was. I can't remember. I hope it's this one. <laughs> I don't know. This is what the brush looks like. I went to smell it because it smells real good, and I just literally like touched it to my nose. It smells nice. <laughs> It's very lengthening and separating, but it's not giving me that much volume. But we'll do a second coat and see. So I actually quite like the way it looks. It's so black. Like, so matte and so black. It's making them long. I just love the smell. It smells like... I don't even know. It just smells good. It doesn't smell sweet or anything. Like, it doesn't smell like anything in particular. It just smells like mascara, but real, like, strong. <laughs> It's kind of like sniffing petrol or something, except not petrol. I don't condone sniffing petrol, but you know what I mean? When you're like filling up your car, it's like the forbidden good smell. You know? <laughs> Just me? I don't know. This looks pretty good. I actually like my makeup. Hamish! I'm definitely surprised he didn't pick me an inner corner color though. He usually loves shimmery inner corners, but um, he didn't really think about it. I don't think. I think that looks pretty dope. What do you guys think? Okay, next up, blush. Blush is what I'm looking for, sorry. Blush? This is overwhelming. That's just the label. Oh, 
Is there all They're all sold out. Must be good. We'll go with Maxi Blush. Maxi Blush. Uh, Rimmel, Maxi Blush. How much is that one? $16.99? Are you happy? Are you happy with that um, choice? Not sure. We'll talk about it later when I try it. <laughs> Okay, this actually looks real pretty. He picked a very subtle kind of purple colour. I think he's drawn to purples for some reason or like cool tones because he picked me a cooler tone like palette and lipstick as well. So I guess he's just like drawn to that colour. This is the shade 006 Exposed and it's by Rimmel. It's the Maxi Blush. $16.99. I'm just going to use my medium face brush again. You can see the pigment there but it's not crazy. Pretty very forgiving, like you can kind of like load up your brush. I like buildable. It doesn't look powdery once it's on. Okay. What are we looking for? A highlighter. Either this one. You know exactly what highlighter is. I love that. Peach or yeah. that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. It's gonna look weird. I don't know. I almost want like a maybe this this one. Okay. Golden lights. That's so cheap, like nine dollars. He knows what highlighter is because he knows like all about the Exo Beauty one. Vivid baked highlighter. I think I have tried these before, so that's my bad. I didn't really think about it, but I'm getting flashbacks. I can't remember what I thought. I can't open it, so who cares? This is in the shade Golden Lights by Makeup Revolution. I was stoked to see Makeup Revolution at Farmers. I love Makeup Revolution. They even had like some of the soap stuff, so that was real exciting. And this cost nine dollars. It's so cheap. It's just absolutely aft like the amount of tape that's on this. I can't get it open. Ooh. Pop that on. It's a little bit powdery. So I'm just like buffing it in. And I actually just realized I think we forgot to buy a setting spray. Because a setting spray would kind of like solve the problem right now. Maybe I'll just like use some makeup spray I already have. I'm just going pretty ham. Uh, okay, so the lips. Yeah. What going? color? I like like... Honeymoon or something. What is this? Is this? Uh, do you want liquid? No, or you're choosing. Want... I don't know. Matte lipsticks, cream finish. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? How, do you, uh, how does it look? Uh, uh, hopeful we'll see. <laughs> okay, and then the lipstick is another thing I already like have tried before. Except I don't think I own this color, and you keep going back to it. This is by N Y X. N Y X lingerie. It's called Embellishment. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty. They changed the formula of these. Like I feel like since back in the day, it's like a lot creamier. But also there's like little lumps in it. I try and like having to really rub out because they're just like these like big dots of product. But this color, I'm obsessed with it. And it reminds me a lot of Strangers by Exo Beauty, which I think is what he would have been gravitating towards this color for because he loves that color on me. It's basically the cutest thing ever. I think this makeup looks so pretty. So <laughs> there you go. All right, I think, I think that's it. Um, I think the makeup I did was better. My when one I did, did my did makeup. Your makeup. Do you think? No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, it looks really good. Actually, look at me. Was it hard to, did you have to blend a lot of stuff? No, it was actually pretty good. There's a couple was things it? I didn't like. But what do you, like, there, okay. do you look at anything on my face and think, shit, that looks bad? No, 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 I didn't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell that I picked the makeup, which is, yep. that's probably what you want. How is the CoverGirl chocolate scented? Does it smell like, it. eyeshadow? Yeah, it actually smells like chocolate. Really? Yeah, smell it. Well, that's probably why it's called chocolate scented, Hamish. Can't remember what chocolate smells like. It's been so long. <laughs> Oh god, it's good! It was kind of lame. I, I guess you guys were hoping for it to be a disaster, and it turned out to be good. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm glad you guys obviously like that. You better thumbs up, share it. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Subscribe. Is that us done? Yeah.